Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're returning, welcome back. Subscribe if you don't subscribe, because I know y'all be coming back and don't be subscribed. Or just comment, like the video, you know, engage, interact. Let me, let me have a conversation. But yeah, so y'all are spending the weekend with me. Today is Friday, and, well, it's Friday night, and we in the house. Friday night, what, what's the sassy right now? Yeah, y'all y'all know what I mean. It's Friday night. I ain't got no nigga. A nigga. Mm. Yeah, that song. Anyway, so it's so funny how I'm in the house on a Friday night. And I've become such a homebody, y'all. Like I really become such a homebody. I really just be home. I really just be in my house. I don't be getting out on Fridays like that anymore. But yeah, today was a quite a busy day. Um I actually wanted to start a vlog earlier today. But it just got so hectic and so chaotic, so I really didn't get to talk to y'all a lot. So I was like, okay, I'll just start the vlog later tonight. But today we got up this morning. I worked, y'all know I work from home. Then I viewed this apartment. So I'm just like on the hunt, as I tell y'all, like for any apartments that are just as nice as this for a cheaper price. You know, just to keep my options open. So by the time it's my lease come around, I will either know whether I want to stay here or whether I want to move to a cheaper place. That still looks nice. So yeah, I'm gonna view that space. I actually really do like it. I just don't like that it is is in St. Philip. I just don't really want to move in St. Philip. If that was in an area closer to where I used to live, like West Terrace or in this general area, like deal seal, I would have wanted it. But I don't know if I want to move St. Philip. But it was a really nice apartment though. I ain't gonna show it, but it was nice, it's very modern, and it's all furnished. That's the thing. This one was fully furnished, y'all know. But that one was unfurnished, so I would have to get a stove, I would have to get a fridge, I would have to get a couch, I would have to get a bed, I would have to get everything. So I just got crunchy numbers in my head and see if it makes sense or how, if it's gonna work out more expensive, me having to buy all these things. But the good thing will be that at least it would be mine. So if I was to, you know, move out of Barbados or move back home or something, at least I would just sell the things or whatever. So that's the thing with cheaper apartments. They're gonna come on furnished, so I can really have to buy all of my things. Um, yeah, so that's what we did. And then after that, I had a barber appointment. Then I had a meeting. So I know in the last video, I told you guys that I, were, that I was partnering with a company and I blocked out what company it was because I didn't finalize the deal. But anyways, I finalized the deal now and your boy partnering with Abed's. <laughs> so I partnered with Abed's to kind of redo my apartment. Like a, uh, a makeover. I kind of done an apartment makeover. Y'all know the basic essential things I really didn't fix. We kind of do a little sign when we move in, but we didn't like went all the way. So these curtains, y'all know these curtains long and sharp. I didn't fix them since I moved in. So we didn't get back room to them. So we actually need to get new curtains. We need to get new bedding. We need to get new little accessories through the house. Like everything. So I actually wanted to take you guys with me this evening. But it was just, it, it was real chaotic. It was, the store was, had a lot of customers. People knew me from TikTok. So it was like, a lot was going on. It was very chaotic. So I didn't really vlog or anything. It was just like, you know what? I was, I was getting a little overwhelmed. So I was like, y'all will see it another time. But yeah, there was so much stuff to go through. Like I had a good idea of what I wanted, but I feel like when you get there, you see so much stuff and then you all over the place. So I feel like that's how it was. So tonight I just, I took a couple photos. I took a couple videos. So tonight I just gonna sit down, go through exactly the pieces that I want and we're gonna go from there. I have to film it tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. So the store opens at 9 and she want, they wanted me to film before customers start to come in the store. Because obviously as I say it was very chaotic and customers were in there. Everybody was recognizing me from TikTok. So of course for me to go in there and film it can be even more chaotic. So we are gonna film before the store opens. Um, but she gave me a bunch of stuff to bring home to try out and that's just so when I go tomorrow I have a general idea because I don't know how certain things can look I don't know if the curtains long enough because honestly I did not measure I did not measure here I just I bought it and say This the longest curtain I have here is a 94 inch and the little space before I get to the ground I just was like oh Maybe I need a hundred 102 or 108 inch so I got 108 we can try the 108 and see how long down it goes she also suggested like these other panels. Actually, let me show y'all. <clears throat> right, 
right, so this is the bag of stuff that we got. And as I said, we just got a lot of things. So these are just a couple options that they have. And again, just to narrow it down, she just was like, okay, you can take them home. You can try see what you like, what works in the space. So you guys are gonna have a like a behind the scenes of of this. Obviously, TikTok not gonna get this, and that's a good thing about YouTube. You guys get the raw behind the scenes stuff. TikTok just can get wouldn't get. But this is one panel. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm gonna go off this light. Okay. <sighs> right. So this is one panel, and this is kind of a like a what do they call it? All right. Yeah, the camera had cut out. We ran out of memory. So right, this color is honey. So this is like hints of a brown. And then this color is champagne. So this is a slight, I don't know if y'all can see. This is a slight thing. So this is the difference between the two. Yeah. So let me know which one y'all like in the comments below. So those are some options for here by the, oh, let me turn my comment light on. So y'all can see me better. Right, so those are some options for the dining room right here, just to add a pop of color. Y'all know right now I got the beige right there. And then, these are some options here for, this is for the front holes for right here. So this color here is um, champagne. Again, let me off this light. Right, so this is a champagne color. And I can try this here. I feel like this color gonna look good there. So that's a champagne. I don't know if you put this. <laughs> I feel like y'all can see it with the light though. Let me see. Right, so there's a champagne color. And this is a 108 inch. And these retail for 36 dollars in case y'all interested. And for the bedroom, now I was thinking, do I want the same champagne color for the bedroom? Or do I want a different color to play in the bedroom? So the bedroom kind of have like the blue artwork. And the artwork has like beige, blues. It, it has a little colors matching it. So she was telling me this color. I'm not sure if I like this color though. This is a dusty rose. So I'm not sure how this color can go in the bedroom. Cause again, I try to keep with the clean, neutrals, whites, beige, that kind of stuff. But I don't know, we can see. I'm thinking maybe more this color. This color is silver. So this color may tie in with the blues in the bedroom. But if anything, push come to shove, I just get all champagne. This is a neutral beige color. And yeah, it kind of goes with the coat. So I might just end up getting that. But anyway, so we can try them out and see what look good where. Uh, which ones we keep in so by tomorrow we will know when we go into the store what we actually really get in so that is what i did this evening and that meeting took longer than i expected i, I think it got there like 4 30 and i didn't left till like almost six o'clock i didn't have shirt and well so that's what we was doing today oh i also have some more campaigns to film this weekend so this is a busy weekend y'all so could be vlogging we filming tiktoks and then we also got campaigns we got the our best campaign i also got a campaign for <laughs> let me show y'all so we are filming a campaign for magic yes we are filming a campaign for collins and y'all i don't know if y'all just use this but i use this shaving this shaving cream and i use this to shave my entire body I use this to shave my entire body. So my hands, my arms, my genitals, my feet. This is not only for beard. So if you guys haven't tried this, try it. It works. You just put it on and you wait four minutes and you take a warm washcloth and you just wipe it off. You don't scrub, you don't shave, you just wipe it off. And I don't get razor marks when I use that. So we're trying that out. They gave me the powder to try as well. I've never tried the powder. As I said, I've only tried the cream, but we can try the powder. I can try to use it under my neck as well. Cause y'all know my hair is growing out real fast. So I feel like I always at the barber. Every weekend is be at the barber. So I'm gonna try to use this and see how it works for my neck area. But as I said, I just accustomed using it on my, I accustomed using it on my, my body. And I don't get any issues. I also never tried their grooming kit. So I was like, yeah, let me try the grooming kit. She did not give me the wash though, so I need to go and buy the wash. I'll go and buy myself, it's fine. She gave me the scrub, so there's an exfoliating scrub, and then there is a beard butter. Right, so I got the beard butter, I got the scrub, and then there's this wash here. This light is bright. So there's this, did the wash? Yeah, there's this wash here. I don't know if y'all can see. I hope y'all can see, right. 
there's this wash. This wash, you scrub. So I got to scrub and I got to bare butter. But I ain't got any with the wash. So I probably can just, instead of dragging my don't they to get that wash, I probably can just buy the wash from like Mara or something. It's fine. Because I also want, even though the, even though I'm not getting paid to do the grooming, I'm just getting paid to review the shaving cream because I already use it. So I already don't know how it works. But it's, yeah, so it's a promo. So I get paid to promote the cream because I already done use it. So I already know how it works. So it's really not like if I try it for the first time, it's already saying that I use already. So that is what we have to film this weekend as well. So you boy book 10 busy. You keep book 10 busy, okay? And then the template. I don't know if you guys got the template, but I was having some issues with Stan store and this template because so I, from my last video I told you guys that if you want a template check the link in the bio and I linked it I know I saw a couple of you clicked on it from YouTube um, but I don't think anybody was able to purchase anything no I don't think nobody was able to purchase anything because Stan store has a problem where when you try to integrate your PayPal it is not fully integrating the PayPal all the way to the end so even though it looks like the PayPal is successfully integrated, every time somebody try to purchase, it's giving them a payment error. So honestly, I was so mad because I did a promo video on TikTok for the template, and I also mentioned it here for you guys on YouTube. So like hundreds, I kid you not, almost a thousand people clicked on the budget link. And I don't know how much of them was actually trying to buy because again, it was not working it kept giving them a payment error and I don't know what I didn't think of that to try it out before I went live but that was my fault because I should have tested it out and went live but I think when I was trying to test it myself I was like why can't I use my own PayPal to pay for saying on my PayPal and then my friend didn't have a PayPal and I didn't really want to ask not more of my friends to try it out but anyways so just because it was successfully linked I didn't know that there was there was an issue so one night it was just like I just asked one of my friends to try it. I just bought it. I was like, you know what? Can you try this for me and see if it works? And when he tried it, it kept giving him the payment error. And I was like, oh, so it makes sense now. Why well, almost a thousand people click on this link and I see not one sale because everybody was getting a freaking payment error. And I was assuming that if people was getting an error, they probably would have like, let me know. A couple people let me know, but if I didn't do that, I didn't know. And they let me know after the fact, after I tested it out. Because it was like, saying here, right? This much people can click on the link and not even one body buy it. So saying hey got me wrong. So I then sent it to my friend. I was like, try this and let me see if this works. And lo and behold, it didn't work. So if you guys try to buy the budget and it didn't work, you could try it again. Because I actually moved from Stan store and now I using beacons. And that's another thing. So Stan store had me so stressed out for the entire week. The entire week I was stressed. When I tell you all your boy was stressed, I was freaking stressed. Because Every day I gone, I kept seeing the clicks going up and up and up and up and I was like, wow, y'all know how much sales I'm missing out on because I'm sure, because the whole reason I do, I put it on is because everybody was interested in it. I had show it in one of my TikTok vlogs and everybody was like, oh, we interested in this, we want to get this template, how to get this template. So that's the whole reason I even offer it up for sale because I was like, well, everybody wants it, I know I just can get it for free. So like, why not just make it my first digital product? So that's why I has, was like, okay, well, this is a, another avenue for me to make some money. So I was like, yeah, let me link this and let me just sell it for a reasonable price. And that way people feel a little bit more invested because as long as you spend your money on something, you feel invested. If I send you that template for free, you're not gonna feel invested. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, get out for free. I ain't gonna use it, blah, blah, blah. But when you spend your money and you actually buy it, you're gonna tell yourself, uh uh, I spent my money for this, I gotta use this. So I feel like everybody should invest in themselves. And I was only charging $12.50. $12, it's on sale now. The original price I was gonna list it for is $25 US. And for the month of November, I'm gonna keep it on sale at 50% off. So you can get it for $12.50 US. After November, when we hit December, I am going to take off the sale and put it back to the original price. So in December, it will be $25. So go and get it now, but it's $12.50. Because if you get it in December, it will be $25. And I feel like $25 is a reasonable price. So forget to get at $12.50 is a steal. To be honest, $12.50 to invest in yourself and you don't got like for a one time purchase, $12.50 is a steal. So yeah, get the template and invest in your future. Invest in yourself, a budget, okay? So yeah, Stan Store had me stressed out this entire freaking week. Anyways, I think that's it. 
I have been talking for maybe 30 minutes now. So I'm going. Y'all see these brownies? If y'all never had a brownie from Fitz Cafe, what are you waiting for? And Fitz Cafe, y'all should be sponsoring me because now I'm putting people on. These brownies from Fitz Cafe are so good. So good, like I'm literally addicted. I don't know what Brianna put me onto these for. Brianna and Javi put me onto these. I know I just be randomly craving brownies. So when I was in Sherman today, of course it's a Fitz Cafe day, so I was like, ah, let me get a brownie. And I have one this week too. So that's two brownies in one week. That's what my face looking like a big puffy ball. Cause y'all know I can't eat certain things. Gluten, flour, all kind of things. It's just got my face puffy. So, so yeah, anyways. I am going, let me go and call security and let them know that I expect him guests. And I can catch you guys when we, when we can try with the curtain. So we're about, we're about to try all these curtains and see what's going on. Right, so these, this, this is the, right, so these ones, this is the 128, I mean 108. So I gotta put this in, in this color champagne. So this is for here. These gonna be too sharp for here. So these for here. These ones now, I was telling her I was gonna keep the same color that I put here. I was gonna put, actually I was gonna use the same color troll. So I was gonna use a beige-ish. I was not originally going for this champagne color. I was gonna use a beige. Same color here, same color here, same color in my bedroom. But she was like, oh, you know, pop a color. So she was like, oh, you can add a pop of color, add this. So I said, well, these ain't long enough for here. So the most things we gotta go is here to separate the rooms, to more come with this. So between this or this, we'll go with this. And then I think you put these in the bedroom too. Because you mean you know you got a wall. So I need full length only for the door. Alright guys, which one y'all like? I feel more this one. Which one you like? I mean this one ain't look bad either. Yeah, but this one just a little bit more neutral, it come in. What do y'all think? It come no longer than the other ones too. So I'm gonna be able to get these from my bar. I'm gonna not gonna get these. Alright guys, so this is the Alright guys, so this is the 108 beige. I don't think I had anyone over 108. Under 108. This is what it like now guys, total mess. So, I'm gonna get rid of these.
Okay, yeah, so this one definitely. Good afternoon. We just got back in. We had a long morning, y'all. We had a long freaking morning. So I didn't bring y'all with me this morning because, yeah, I just know it was going to be a lot and I didn't want to feel overwhelmed. So I got up like 6 o'clock this morning and we had to get to our beds for 8 a.m. So I was at our beds from 8 this morning and I did not leave our beds till like, I don't want like, maybe like 1 o'clock. So it was a lot. <laughs> Your boy don't work a whole part-time shift basically that's what it worked but anyways we nonetheless we got through we have all of our stuff um so yeah excited about that so excited about putting them together we got some really cute stuff we did have to put back some stuff though because we were a little over the budget okay we were over the budget so it was like okay let me put back what was not as important so i definitely got what was important and we can get them other things at another time and then i stopped in massey to pick up a couple stuff and I don't know, the supermarket just gets me every single time because I taught myself out of buying fast food to go to the supermarket to buy something to make a salad. So I was like, okay, I have salad dressing at home, stop in the supermarket, get some chicken tenders. I am hot, y'all. Stop in the supermarket, get some chicken tenders, and buy some lettuce and make a salad. It's gonna be cheap, it's gonna be under $20. So they say. Tell me why I stop in the supermarket and end up spending $77. Made that make sense? Made that make sense? I went to the supermarket to spend under $20 instead of buying something to eat. I could have went to Shafat or somewhere else and I could have bought food and then came home and I would have not spent this much money in the supermarket. But anyhow, I feel like it's stuff that we needed. So I definitely have to pick up a Downy Unstoppable because I've been washing my clothes but when they come out, they don't be smelling away. So I just be like, and I've been using like, I don't know if I try y'all this on here, I think I talked about it on the TikTok in one of my Sunday Reset videos. But I basically been, if y'all see me sweating, in here is hot. I need to wear it. Yeah, in here is hot if y'all see me sweating, so don't worry about it, it's just a little sweat. But right, so what I was saying on TikTok, when I had, when I was doing my laundry, everybody was, I was basically telling everybody about the Fire Bright. So I had bought the Fire Bright laundry detergent, I had also bought Fire Bright fabric softener but I just don't feel like they're strong enough so when I wash my clothes like my clothes just be coming out smelling like nothing it's just be smelling like machine none of the fragrance the scent nothing so it was like okay we need something to judge these up to boost these out and I used to use these before but when they went out I didn't buy back any and my clothes just smell so nice and so fresh but I wasn't using the fire bright at that time at that time I was using an armor hammer and I was using Suavitel fabric softener so when this fire bright gone I don't think I can buy Fire Bright again. All right, if I do, I'm not gonna buy Fabric Softener for sure. I probably would just buy the laundry detergent, get a Suavitel Fabric Softener, and just stick to my beads. Cause y'all, these keep your clothes smelling so nice and so fresh. So I am not grabbing these, and this is twenty dollars from in Massey. So that's how my bill ended up going up too. And then I ended up getting a kombucha because I've been really trying to like focus on my gut health, y'all. Y'all know my gut health. I've been trying to focus on that because. I don't know, like when I eat things like gluten and dairy and that kind of things, I'd be bloated a lot. So I've been trying to improve my gut health. So I was just like, oh, kombucha, let me buy a kombucha. $12. Could have left that kombucha. I got my lettuce. So that is good. This is the key thing that we went for. And then these are the key things that we went for. So two of these. And then I was going to pick up some tomatoes. I definitely prefer cherry tomatoes with my salads, to be quite honest. But cherry tomatoes are $16 so I didn't get them and then we have to pick up some soap I gotta go to Price Mart to do my boat shopping but I have a body wash but not all the time I just feel like scrubbing with the body wash so I just buy another set of soap just to alternate in between the body wash and the soap and then I needed to get some more Maggie cubes and then I got some cucumbers 
And yeah, that's it. Save seven dollars. Anyways, y'all, I am super tired. As I said, it's like probably three o'clock in the evening right now. And I haven't rested all day. Like I've been literally going, 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 going all day. So I'm gonna relax myself for a bit. Probably not gonna make my salad yet because I just wanna like on wine for a little bit. I just wanna like sa calm down. I am sweating. I just had to go and tap a little bit. So I just wanna woosa, calm down for a little bit and we definitely not doing no home decor today. I have people coming tomorrow to clean because y'all I just I just already cleaning. So I'm gonna get a company to come in tomorrow. But I'm Ali I'm uh, Ali. You see like my brand fright. I'm actually partnering with them and they're gonna do a full apartment clean. And let me get you back. I call that my mother. Right, they're gonna do a full apartment deep clean tomorrow, and then after that, I will then start to put together my decor pieces. So I'll take on these curtains, I can, I can let them clean down everything, clean the glass, clean the windows, dust, clean down everything. And then tomorrow, we're gonna put up our new curtains, and we're gonna start to like decorate some pieces because the next time I have to film that in the daytime is next weekend. And I just want to try to knock this content out one time. And then we got the shave routine to. We got the shave routine to do and then yeah then that's it so let me just go and chill for a little bit relax decompress for a bit and then i can come back when we're making my salad yeah i can come back we can make the salad together and then yeah that's basically it that's all that happened for today this morning so I, as i said i didn't bring you guys along with me to our because i was filming a tiktok and an instagram reel so to bring you too many minutes and it was only my one, it was nobody there to help me hold the camera or anything. So that would have been a bit much. So it was like, y'all gonna understand, y'all will understand. I can just talk to y'all when I get back home. So that was why I can do a lot at Bed's haul. Not right now. We probably can do one later or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, because I don't want to unpack these things now and then go pack them back. So tomorrow after the people done come and clean, then we can do a at Bed's haul and then we can start to put together the stuff. Yeah, y'all. That's it. I'm so excited about it. I just announced it on my Instagram because I really didn't tell anybody. So people seem excited. They were like, yeah, cool. And I was like, yeah. Your boy racking up. So I had basically three partnerships this weekend. So this weekend, your boy was booked and busy, okay? Booked and busy. But I'm talking too much. So I'm going to catch you guys a little later. So I'm going to finish eat the rest of my brownie. I got a little piece left. As I said, I don't feel like cooking right now. So... I'ma just, and I ain't really that, that hungry because I recently just drank, I recently just drank a smoothie, so that smoothie gonna turn me over for a little bit. It was a protein smoothie, so that will hold me for a bit, so it should be good for the next hour or so. That will give me time to decompress and then I would just come back and make the salad. Yo, I just get up and sleep in. <laughs> I tell y'all, I slept for a good four or five hours. So I still my sleepy face, but uh, I was just so tired. So now I have a little headache because obviously I went to sleep. And the only thing I had today was a protein smoothie. So now I got a slight headache. But that's fine. I know about to make my salad. But that sleep was so good. Like, that was so needed. I was really tired. Like, I was like, y'all, this whole week. I don't know, did I tell y'all about it? This whole week, yeah, I think I told y'all about the stand store and the template situation. So this whole week, I basically did not really sleep. I slept, but I didn't really sleep long when I didn't really sleep comfortable because I was like worrying and yeah, I really, I was stressing myself, so I didn't really sleep a lot. So that sleep was much needed. Y'all have a try these chicken breasts. I got some pork chops here. I think tomorrow I can do I can do pork chops. But I don't think they're cooking tomorrow next week. I don't really gotta cook. I don't gotta cook next week because they're going down with my mother for lunch. But tomorrow I gotta cook. I don't know why I feel like cooking. I just tired of rice. I just tired of rice. And I would love me a good macaroni plate, but y'all know you ain't supposed to eat that macaroni plate either. So, I have rice like, ooh, you know what I wanted to do? I would love one bite some though. I was thinking to do, uh, hmm. 
Actually, we got shards of chicken in Barbados. Wait, I think I that. Yeah, y'all can see me better. Yeah, no better. Anyways, so what I was saying, we got chicken shard here in Barbados. So I feel like today when they went massive, when they lost probably chicken section, like they didn't really have no chicken. They had no chicken. But yeah, I see this chickpea. I saw this chickpea recipe online, like a curry chickpea. So I'm thinking to do chickpeas tomorrow. Pork chop. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking of pork chop, but again, I can air fry pork chops instead of baking them. So air fry pork chops. I got some jasmine white rice. So jasmine white rice, air fry pork chops, and or just a regular rice. Regular white rice, air fry pork chops, and chickpea. Like a chickpea stew. So they're trying to get my flavor. So chickpeas and that kind of things, like lentil peas, all that kind of things. They're trying to use a lot more in my Sunday meals just to get a lot more flavor. Because I honestly don't eat a lot of fiber, so I bought out some wheat bits and stuff like that just to try to get my fiber up. Yeah, we got two pork chops here. So I'm thinking that that is what I am going to do. So pork chop, rice, and either lentil pea or chickpeas. Chickpeas. I take more lentil peas though. Anyhow, y'all, I feel like y'all done see my salad before. So let me just make my salad and then we can eat and chop. Nice salad. I'll watch all of you. I'll watch this one, it's got 2.7. Alright, guys, so I am watching Pop the Balloon. Well, I'm about to eat my salad, watch Pop the Balloon. The only thing missing in my salad, let me turn this on a little bit out there hard. The only thing I'm missing in my salad is the feta cheese. And I didn't buy it because it was like hacking. You know cheese and mess you up, forget the cheese. But y'all, lately, this entire week and last week, I've been watching Pop the Balloon. Like, funny enough, I just got this like, slight Pop the Balloon obsession. I don't know, it's just like, it's just entertaining. And it's just saying quick for me to watch. Like, it doesn't take a lot of my mental, and it doesn't take a lot of my attention. Like, I literally do stuff and watch it. You know, like, if you're gonna watch a movie on Netflix, I'm saying, it can take a lot of attention because you got to sit and focus on it. And I don't got a lot of attention span recently because, you know, I've been getting a lot of things going on. So, yeah, so your boy haven't been watching TV like that. So, Party Balloon is like a good way. Wait, y'all gonna be missing Hello, people, everyone. man. Welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Alex. Right. Wait, let me pause it. Party Balloon is a good way for me to just do something that don't take a lot of brain power. It's just, just cool and chill. But these people on here be cracking me up, y'all. These people be cracking me up because I w <laughs> what's got me, right, is that they are just like, oh, this person is not my type. But she gorgeous, though. She gorgeous. He's he good looking. He handsome. I mean, I guess I understand. I, I guess I understand. Somebody could still look good, but not be your type. Because before I was like, how the hell you mean they look good, but then you type? I tell like everybody that look good. Maybe you type, but you know what? That's not so because there are people that I think that look good, but they're really not my type. So they don't do nothing for me. So I will look at them and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, you look good, but mm, you're my type." I, I can't see the connection. I don't feel the connection. So I, I actually understand, but I feel like they may say that for everybody. Just say, "Yeah, she not my type. Yeah, he not my type," and keep it moving. You don't gotta flatter with like, "Oh, you're handsome. Your outfit is nice. You killing it though. You fire. You like, come on." And some of these men out here be annoying me because some of them be coming out here with like, oh, this swag, like, mm, yeah, girl. And like, I just be like, boy, cool your ass dumb, chill. Ain't nobody care for you. And you don't look that good either. So stop with all this flirtatious, sexy, rubbing yourself and licking your lips. And I just be like, ugh. Literally, I sit on this chair and I just be screaming at TV when I'm watching this because so sometimes the men will be critiquing these women, like women will be critiquing the men. And I'd be like, what? I don't see that. Like, what do you see? Anyhow, I'm only gonna eat this. Let me chill and I'm probably not gonna pick you back up, pick you guys back up tonight. Because again, nothing really ain't going on. I just gonna eat this salad, watch TV, and 
probably gonna be out all night because I slept all evening. But I can just be out all night chilling, not watching TV. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's it for tonight. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to win since he's not in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the koala in my shorty bag. You know she wanna mind when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she love the toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. Instead stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spit what you wanna be who you wanna be. We all stutter till I die. I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Feel my feelings, feel an action These days no call my age, niggas be past this Living in the middle, this shit might drive you mad In a pretty middle, but this life shit ain't all bad Bloody blood and murder, there ain't no second chance Today is Sunday and we are cooking. So I got up this morning, made me some breakfast, and then I just chilled for a little bit. Cause my anxiety was going through the roof this morning. So my whole weekend just shifted a bit. I was supposed to be working with some a cleaning company. So they were supposed to come today, clean my entire apartment. So I kind of planned everything around that. And right, I was supposed to get my apartment clean today and then I was gonna start to do my home makeover series. So I actually want to change all the curtains and everything. We all saw that I went to Abbas yesterday. I have so much stuff, y'all. Like, it's just sitting right there. So, I was saying, okay, today my apartment's gonna get clean. They're gonna clean out everything. They're gonna clean the glass. They're gonna clean the window. They're gonna clean everything. And then I'm gonna start to, like, put up my curtains and do my home decor series. I also had the sponsorship that I needed to film for Magic. But I wanted my bathroom to be clean first before I actually filmed that. So, I'm actually gonna have to put that off. So, basically, I have to push back everything. So, all the videos I wanted to film today... I have to push back till next week because obviously I want to make sure that the apartment clean before. So yeah, that pushed back my day. But my anxiety lately have just been through the roof, like trying to keep up with stuff, posting stuff. Like, I was just stressing myself out. So maybe today was just a day for me to chill, relax, and not stress. Cause I honestly was stressing out. So I was just like, okay, I can just use today, chill, relax, just do my regular laundry just cook, eat, and I can just plan for next week. So I think they couldn't make it today, but I think they can come on Friday. So Friday, since I work from home, I'll let them come on Friday and clean the apartment. And then we have Saturday and Sunday next weekend to film our sponsor content. So I will probably edit the Abes vlog, the shopping experience, well, TikTok. I'll post that this week and then next weekend when I film, I'll post the the other video next week. That's what we got work with today. And I guess that will give me more time to also post my shave routine video next week as well, which is more closer to the end of the month because it's more like a maintenance, monthly maintenance, shave routine kind of video. So I'll post that then. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for my Sunday. And especially it's raining as well. It's also raining, so I feel like the lighting is not perfect and i want to film this when the light went outside bright so that the lighting will be good so it says a little gloomy today so i was just like okay maybe today was not a good filming day because it's gloomy outside so the sun is not really out bright bright like it usually is so i didn't feel that stress anymore it was just like fine it is what it is we'll film next weekend whatever anyhow so i just had me a kombucha kombucha y'all know you're working on my gut health so i just drank that kombucha and now we're able to eat some cookies Y'all, I love me these Christmas cookies, so I forget I had these inside the cover. My mother gave these to me, so I was just like, I feel like, like munching on something sweet. And I need to switch up my diet a little bit though, because I feel like recently I've started to eat about too much sweet things. And usually I don't really keep drink at my house, 
I don't really, I don't usually keep juice out my host because I try not to drink juice because once any host, you already know you're gonna drink it. So I just try not to keep any juice out my house so that if in here, I would just drink beer water. But I have visited my mother recently, well, last weekend, I went with my mother and she gave me a whole big juice. Um, <laughs> let me show y'all. She gave me a whole big mango juice. And look how it is. So I almost not drink that and it's how much, ooh. 33 grams of sugar per serving, okay. Then she also gave me some fruit cocktails, which I ate. Then she also gave me some gummies, which I ate. Then she also gave me an iced tea, which I have to drink as well. So, I don't like how this, um, anytime I put on anything metal in my cupboard, I feel like the metal off the bottom is just like staying at a ring in my cupboard. So, now I put out iced tea there, I feel like it, got, it left a ring in my cupboard. Like a rust ring. Even though that the bottom is really that rusty, but that's a rust right in my cupboard. Anyhow, so she gave me all of these things. Which I'm grateful for. Shout out to my mom. You can't go by she and she not give you stuff. Anytime I go by she, it's kind of my with a whole grocery bag full of things. So I got that, I got detergent things, I got... She gave me these biscuits as well. I got these biscuits, but I'm not sure if I like them. Some townhouse light and buttery original of a bit crackers, but they're too soft for me. You know the Ritz crackers are usually a little crunchy, so it's soft but still got crunch. That one is soft, like I don't know if they're dead, but I tried the aspiration day and the aspiration day ain't gone. But those, it almost like if you bite it, it just melt in your mouth. It ain't got no kind of crunch, nothing. I don't really like them, so but I don't want to waste them, so I ain't gonna use them somehow. She gave me some other things too, but yeah, I don't want y'all out of my business. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's it. Oh, let me show you all the Abed stuff. So I have everything just laid out here. We gotta use that, don't make my shoes. But yeah, everything from Abed is just laid out there. So next week we can deal with them, not this week. And yeah, y'all. So that's it, today cooking, rice, pork chops. Y'all know we got a shortage of chicken, so I just really can't find a chicken in the supermarket. So I just got bare pork in my fridge. I got ribs and pork chops. So we doing pork chops and we doing rice and macaroni salad and probably pickled cucumber or just rice macaroni salad pork chop something like that i would have liked to do like a chickpea stew but i don't feel like i don't feel like going to the supermarket i will gotta go to Aymar to get chickpeas or something like that so we'll do that another time we can just work what we got home and not go and buy anything that we ain't got but anyways i have opened these cookies i wonder if these are the original or if these are the fake ones because you know you just can't tell the original from the fake then it's still Cambridge and Thomas. These are the original or these are fit. Anyhow, we can tell you now. Definitely not original. Definitely not original. Mm. Okay. Yeah, these are the original. It tastes different. Mmm. You know, I feel like. Well, the time people are always changing up products. They're always changing up the ingredients. They're always changing up the recipes. And then it's, it don't taste the same. Like, these don't taste like the old time, good old Christmas cookies. So that's why I feel like these ain't the original ones. Because these don't taste like the old time ones for sure. Mm -mm. But we're gonna still eat them. But right. So I just cook in and. That's it. I was watching a vlog, so watching my girl Aaliyah while I cook, and we just have a couple videos to edit, a couple TikToks. I gotta start editing this vlog because I end this vlog tonight, so I gotta start editing this vlog. And then this evening I wanna go for a little run, but I'm not sure if it can be written or not. So I wanna get back into my running. And recently I've been stressed out. I've been stressing myself. I've been having like real bad anxiety. So I wanna change my diet and I wanna like start back being active and exercise more. I started to like do some walking along the walking trail, but I actually want to like 
get back into running. Walking is all fine and dandy, but I feel like I'm being unfit now, so I need to get back my body moving. So I need to start with jogging, running, and yeah, at least every morning or evening. Also, I started to get dark a little quick now, so I may have to do it every morning because by the time I get home on evenings, also it's be black. I will have to get home by 5 o'clock. By 5.30, I feel like outside will be dark, so I will be just rushing. So I feel like I will try to get earlier in the morning, do my run before I get ready for work, so that I don't have to run and come home in the evening to do it. Until we start to get back into like next year in the summer months, then outside it's get dark around 7 o'clock. Then that way I could come home and outside will still be bright and I could jog. But for now, we ain't got to compromise, we ain't got to do it in the morning. And then... Yeah, so we don't gotta rush on my evening. So I wanna get back into that. Or at least the treadmill if I don't do the running. But I just prefer to do the running and do outdoors. But I need to get proper running shoes. Cause the ones that I have, they don't support my foot good enough. Especially when they run it. So if I can go sit and run on the hard pavement, I can at least need proper shoes. So at least minimum three times a week is my goal. If I can do it every day, that would be fine. But minimum three times a week at least. So I can just get back active and get down my stress levels and my cortisol in my body because I feel like the amount of stress though I've been putting the amount of stress I've been putting on myself I've just been stressing on myself and giving myself anxiety because my my cortisol cortisol levels gotta be high and that's why I probably stress. But anyways these are my pork chops they are nicely seasoned I only got two left I had six and the last time I did no I have five the last time I did three so I literally got two left but yeah we can eat one now one for lunch tomorrow and Call that Wally. Tomorrow we'll probably do spare ribs. But I trained these in air fry. Right, I trained these in air fryer. And get out of the way. Anyhow y'all, that's it. I'm gonna finish cooking, finish watch TV, and then I will catch you guys a little later. Yo, so I've been using this rabbit softener, right? Some downy, but for some reason I keep telling myself like it just looks so thick. It just like tick, 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 tick. And like, like you can see what happened. So now I gotta pull this out and wash this because I find like it's so thick. The water just not pulling out how I would expect it to be. Let me show y'all how thick it is. Like literally things so thick. I don't know why it's so thick, but let me see if I can show you how thick the damn thing is. To, um, let me try to prop one up. Right, so this is what it is. And I even add water to it just to tin it up. Like, look. Oops. See, so like, it, it just tick. I don't know if it off or what, but maybe this is better for like if I put it directly in the machine and not to the fact that I got put it inside of here. Because, yeah, it just like ain't washing out properly. I ain't washing up properly at all. Anyhow, let me go and remove it, wash it out, and then come back. Ooh. All right, yeah, we back. So I wash it out, and I can just use the Fire Bright one. And y'all know the reason I tried that is because the Fire Bright was not, it was not strong enough for me. So when my mother gave me that one, I was like, okay, well, let me use this instead of the Fire Bright to see if my clothes, and this is the one I mean from Fire Bright, to see if my clothes got a better scent. But honestly, since I buy the downy beads yesterday, 
I am just using Fire Bright one. So these are the only bees I get. I showed you all these yesterday already, so yeah. So I can just put these in just to add a little smell to the clothes. So since I already done got these now, I don't feel like I need the other one. So one cart full of these. Actually, yeah, almost a cart full. That's not a whole big, that's not a whole lot of clothes, so I ain't ready to put a lot because these are expensive. Yeah, I just had a couple more things that I wanted to put in. But this should be a quick load though, because in a lot. So I just gotta wash my sheets. I don't got a lot of things to wash today. So once them wash, we just gonna wash our sheets after and then yeah, that's it. I also finished cooking, so I just need to eat. I just whip out a macaroni salad. So I did rice, I did a gravy. I did a macaroni salad and then, right, my pork. So my pork already finished, oh shit, I gotta take it out of the air fry. So I should take it out. Y'all know me always being nosy. But yeah, I gotta take it out the air fryer and... Yeah, so we probably gonna eat, but I just went for the, I just went for the macaroni salad to get a little bit cooler because I just honestly finished cooking it, so it was still a little hot. But I can just wait to get a little cooler and then I can do it. We probably can just do some skincare a little later. I really don't have a lot of skincare products. I need to re-up on my skincare, but we have introduced some new things. So I will show you guys that a little later when we take a shower and start to get ready for bed. But yeah, right now, just doing some laundry. Um, so I'm gonna wash them, wash my sheets, get that done. Probably in like a couple more minutes, I probably can eat. And yeah, that's it. So let me catch you guys a little later when we're getting ready for bed. And I'll show you all my food. So y'all don't know, it's just boring. Isn't it fancy today? As I said, rice, pork chops, macaroni salad. That's it, basically. Y'all don't want to see that. That boring. So yeah, I will catch you guys when it's time for bed. So we can do our nighttime routine. And I can show you all the new product that I'm using. And again, my face routine get cut down a lot because I, just, I need to get more products. I need to re up. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. So this is Rocky's matcha. Um, this one they made specifically for Tatcha and us. Uh, but you can purchase Rocky's matcha. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's supposed to be really good quality. It's be my first time using it. So excited about that. We've got matcha, some milk, some almond milk, and a creamer as well. Um, this is... All right, so I know y'all would want to see the food. So I just came back to show you guys the food because I know y'all probably gonna say, oh no, I can't be the one to see what the food look like, la 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 la. So this is what the food look like. Take a good look. So again, we have, y'all can see good though, already like him. Let me turn on your light. All right, y'all can see. We have pork chops, there's a little chart here. Anyways, don't mind. Pork chops, macaroni salad, rice, and then we have our juice. And yeah, that's it for our Sunday meal. A broccoli salad recipe on TikTok, of course. Uh, I'll link it down below, but that's what we're gonna make. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna get into the job. It's been all very easy. Today is just not a good day for a multitude of reasons. Uh, but with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my. Okay, so it's much later. I am back. I ate food, watched TV, took a nap, <laughs> got up, finished my laundry. Like, we, we did a lot. We did a lot. Um, I don't know if y'all could hear that noise in the background, but that is the bathroom fan, so ignore that. Um, and I don't know if y'all could hear the crickets in the back, but they crickets be loud as hell. Well, oh, by the way, this is my glyconic acid exfoliating toner by The Ordinary and I usually try to use this like once or twice a week depending on how my skin needs it um, I think I've used this sometimes during this week so this is the second time I'm using it for the week this is fine but this is getting skin 
all do it together. It's a little harsh, so that's the reason why you only use it twice a week. But as I said, it gets the skin together. Like it literally gets the skin together. Well, it works for me in that way. It gets my skin together. See, look, I just washed my face and it still has all of this dirt coming out. So basically, you know, we be washing our face, but I don't know. Be, maybe I need to like double clean or something, but sometimes when I wipe my face, it come out clean, sometimes they don't come out clean. So maybe depending on the day I have, I may gotta try like double cleansing or something like that. But I really don't wanna like strip my face of like too much of the essential oils either. But yeah, look at that. Look at that! Dirty, anyways. So essentially, we are prepping for bed. And I think it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock. So, as I said, we're prepping for bed. And I wanna try to, to sleep early tonight because I have been up late the last couple of nights. And that's all we're doing for face tonight. Because a lot of my other products are gone. I need to re-up on my Fenty. I'm literally saving all of my empty bottles because I want to do like an empty review for TikTok. You know, just to give my experience on some of the products that I've been using and if I would recommend them. So, excuse me. If I would recommend them, if I would use them again. So, I basically have been saving all of my freaking empty bottles. Just so I can film my videos. So, these are all the empty bottles. And actually, we should do a quick, we should do a quick window. Hopefully, this noise in the background is not too much. But the first thing we have is our Fenty fat water um, pour refining toner serum I call it right pour refining toner serum right I absolutely love this I first tried this in a mini sample size and well, I was in Canada last year and I had loved it and I went back to Sephora and I had bought a big bottle before I left so this is gone I know that Fenty Beauty is in Barbados I need to go back and get me another one and I also need to get me some more Fenty products as well because I wanted to try them my La Roche-Posay face wash is empty, so I went back to my CeraVe because I literally had a whole bottle of CeraVe before I even switched to the La Roche-Posay. So it made more sense for me to go and buy another La Roche-Posay when I still got my CeraVe. So after my CeraVe, I probably would switch back to La Roche-Posay. This cleanser, I feel, cleans your face better than the CeraVe, but I feel like CeraVe gives me a better texture. So we can toss it up and see if we can buy about this or not, but this is very good for like cleaning your face. Again, when I was using this and then I was toning, I find that the cotton pad was not as dirty as when I used the CeraVe. So again, I feel like this gives you a better cleanse, a better clean for your pores than the CeraVe. And that's probably why the CeraVe leaves my skin a better texture because this will clean all my pores and this literally leaves my face looking a little pory. But with the fancy fat water reintroduced, when I re-up that, that should come come back this. So I, I definitely would buy this again by using my serum first. Then we have the La Roche Posay Double Repair Matte Moisturizer. This is gone, but I literally have another box. I had two. So my first one, no gone. So I literally need to just pop in the other one. I've seen some other options that some creators spoke about that I need to try. So I think it's the Belief Aqua Balm Cream that's supposed to be lightweight and not supposed to leave your skin oily or anything, so I need to try that as well. But as we have another La Roche cream, we can use that because. But when I travel, we don't have whole Sephora re up, so I can try all them other new products that I want to try. We also have the serums from The Ordinary, so y'all know I had the niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid, and these are both empty. I was contemplating, actually, I didn't know any place I can get them from in Barbados, but I think I saw them in, in Solutions in Sheraton. I think the price is not bad from Sephora because I think one of these at Sephora is like 10 US, still between 10 to 15 dollars. So 15 US, 30 dollars, and I think I saw it in Skin Solutions for like 45, 50 dollars, something like that. So I can probably try to re up on them, or I may just wait till I travel and get them from Sephora. But we need to get back on our skincare routine strong so i may need to re-up them before i can travel and when i travel i will just get some more bottles and then we have this um body oil moisturizing body oil by palmers and i love this body oil honestly it used to keep my skin nice and moisturized but what i would say about this body oil i would not repurchase it again only because it is very thick so when i put this on in the day it used to have me sweaty because it's very thick so that's the only way I would say I wouldn't try this. But if you live in cold weather or in like right now when it's a much cooler outside, yeah. So I have run out to 
memory, so I had to delete some footage. But what I was saying is, I have some people talk about the Avino body oil, and that was a little bit more lightweight, so I need to try that one. So I wouldn't repurchase that, but I will try that. But look what your boy picked up. I have been influenced, so I've been using this. I know y'all have been seeing everybody raving about this on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. But y'all, this smells so good. This smells so good. It smells like a vanilla, well obviously it's vanilla cashmere, but it smells like a vanilla caramel. Think about a salted caramel ice cream. That's kind of what it smells. That's what, if, if you was to tell me, if I was to put what it smells like in a food, it would be a salted caramel ice cream. Like literally that's what it smells like. And it keeps you nice and moist to be honest. So, yeah, I wouldn't, um, it, it is nice and it's not oily, which is why like, it keeps you moisturized. Like, look at how my skin moisturized. Ooh, smells so good. Yo, this literally smells so good. Like, it smells yummy. It does smell like if, if you want to eat me. <laughs> Literally. That's what it smells like. But you see, like, how that just moisturized my whole body? Right. Nice and moist. Smelling yummy and it literally is not oily. So I actually love this, but it's pretty expensive though, especially here in Barbados. This bottle was $30. So if you're in the US, obviously it's cheaper over there, but here it's a little expensive. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for my little nighttime routine. I just gonna pull my pajamas. Pajamas. I just gonna pull my sleeping clothes and then we can get some tea. And then we end the vlog here. I, as I said, wanted to sleep early so I can make my sleepy time tea. Yeah, so that's it, y'all. I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Well, I will catch you guys next week. Next week, we are going to be doing some house stuff. So all that stuff we got from our beds, we are going to start our decoration home makeover series from next week. So after the house get clean, I'll show you guys all that. So after the house get clean, then we will start to put together the house and start to decorate. Yeah, so fun things happening. So y'all will be getting some vlogs because we be definitely doing some stuff. We definitely moving over the house. And I was thinking if we want to do vlogmas. I don't know if we want to do vlogmas. So I was like, vlogmas seems like a lot. Like if I do vlogmas, I will have to start from like the last week in November. I will have to start recording daily vlogs so that by the time December start, I could do one video every single day so let me know if that's something you guys want if you want to see vlogmas where i post a vlog every single day in december up until christmas i think that's how it's done let me know in the comments below and yeah i will start prepping for that because as i said i will have to record a video every single day to post the next day but just know the videos might not be long 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 they may be like 20 minutes, 25 minutes the most because it's literally going to be a day vlog and half the time I'm going to be working anyway so it's basically me, me coming home and what you doing at night let me know if that's saying y'all want to see in the comments below and yeah, I will try to make it happen as long as you guys are going to watch, I can make it happen so, I will see you guys next week have a good night, have a good week and be sure to subscribe if you are not because a lot of you guys are still watching and not subscribed so hit the subscribe button if you like this video like and yeah i like talking to you guys in the comments so continue to comment below and we can continue the conversation below in the comments